Welcome again to today's class on variation. We want to discuss variation. It is important to note that variation is another name for the word proportionality, and we have different types of it direct, inverse, joint, and partial. But in this video, we want to see the second types of variation, which is inverse variation. So, we want to discuss question on it. They say the pressure of a glass P is inversely proportional. So this is sign for directly proportional. But when they say inversely proportional, it means inversely, inversely proportional to what? Volume. Volume. This is a sign of proportionality. So that means when I remove it, I will have P. I will remove this and put equals to K then 1 over what V. Okay? They say if the pressure is 40, when the volume is 10, P is 40, then the volume is what? 10. K times 1 will give me K. 40 times 10 will give me what? 400. That means you have to make Okay, so get the formula. Once you get it, say that what you will now do is I'll carry it and put it here. That means P is equal to K times 1, and that is 400. 400 over P. This is what we call the law or the relationship connecting what? P and V from this question. That means it is this that you will use to get whether P, whether V, whichever one they ask you to get. Okay? So you say, what will the pressure be when the volume is 16 cubic meters? Cubic meters mean meter cube. So they say, what will the pressure be? It implies that pressure from this equal to 400 over V. Pressure will be equal to 400 over what? 16. 4 here, 4, 4 here, 100, 4 here, 1, 4 here, 25. That will be giving you 25 Newton per meter square because the unit is Newton per meter square. That is the answer.